Good morning, afternoon, and evening everyone. My name's Nick and welcome to or welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be a very unique video and not really a ranking but more of like a discussion I guess if we want to say that. Today I'm going to be doing my first Smash or Pass video covering Mortal Kombat 1 with my special guest here, my girlfriend, Rain. Hi everyone! Now around the time of MK1's launch we were both talking about doing content together and during this random conversation we had um, she just threw the idea of man a lot of these characters are just like attractive should we do like a smasher pass and to which I went uh sure and here we are <laughs> what you're hearing is completely unscripted and this is just us just having a fun time with it I hope you have a fun time with us too are you ready I'm so ready all right let's do this all right so starting off the list we have Liu Kang the, okay so I guess we're already <laughs> off to a good start <laughs> okay so the first off here we have Liu Kang and I'm also gonna say it's Smash. This guy is just very attractive. I love the the chest that's opening up here on this model. Uh, I think he also has a very pretty face and hair, and you know, being a god of fire, he would definitely make things you know hot and heavy. That's an Aries. I can appreciate that. All right, so we're both a uh, we're both a Smash on that one. All right, up next we have my main Sub Zero, the Grandmaster of the Lin Kuei. Um, this guy is just has the power of ice. Kind of an oh. hole in the story mode, but yeah, I kind of like him though. But because of my Sub Zero bias, I kind of have to go with the Smash on this one. I might have to do pass. Only okay, I want to say Smash, you know, based off aesthetics, but. I'm the always cold girlfriend, and I cannot imagine <laughs> having to be with this very cold man. He's not only a cold man, he's also very cold hearted, so yeah, sorry, that's a I can't. pass for both of us right there on Sub-Zero. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, up next we have uh, the brother to Sub-Zero in this timeline, Scorpion, who's cooler, I like him more. Personally, he's like, like Liu Kang, he's... He uses fire as well, too. He also has a nice little hook so he can, like, pull you in. It Smash. Okay, I think that was enough to do. <laughs> All right. He can I tie me up with whatever he wants. I mean, he has two, he has two, he has a comma and he has a spear, so he can definitely do some damage with that. I will get that. over there. Okay. <laughs> I'm also a, I'm also a smash as well too on this one. All right, up next we have our first female on this list. We have Princess Katana. This is probably like next to Sonya Blade. She was like the second female introduced to the series. She's a thousand years old, so she's been around for a very long time. And I know you can't really see with this model here, but behind the mask, she's also very pretty. She also has the fans. She also has a kiss of death too. So if she kisses you, you'll like melt and like die. But that's where my only like r major red flag is right there. Maybe I can get those things for the lips like in Batman Returns when Poison <laughs> Ivy <laughs> kissed him and it kept him alive. Game Theory, please ask me if that, please let me know if that works because if it, that it, could be made canon, smash. Okay, I'm going to say if that's the logic there too, I'm also going smash on that as well. So, Katana, big big fan. Up next we have the uh, Hollywood himbo. We have Johnny Cage. Pass. Oh Jesus. Oh man. Someone's, people are uh, Uncaged Games is already going to hate us for this one. I will say if it was Johnny Cage at the beginning of the story, it's very much a pass because I could not stand him in the beginning. I'm going Smash. I have to. I'm sorry. You he's, would simp for him. He, I, come on. He looks cool. I like it. He can do the splits and he's he's flexible. Uh, Too cocky. Yeah. He would pay more attention to his phone than me during sex. Yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah, you convinced me. That's definitely a pass. Never no, mind. No, you're, you're a Smash. Be honest. Fine I'm, a, <laughs> fine. I'm a Smash. Let me just let me get smashed bros fine the next person on the next person on the list we have Kenshi Takahashi who is not only a Yakuza member he's also like Johnny Cage's BFF in the story he lost his eyes to Melina which is why he's blind and the sword actually helps him see but anyway I'd say based on the logic that because he can't see his senses everywhere else are heightened so Such that's gonna make smash. it more exciting so we're both a smash there so big smash also, he's a very just good looking guy. I'll say that right there. Very good looking. Yeah. So Kenshi, you're a you're a smash. Up next we have Kung Lao. Uh, he's he's like the semi chosen one, I guess. He's just very cocky. He has a razor hat. He's very much kind of reminds me of like Donnie Yen with like the quick punches. But geez, I hate to say this, I have to go past immediately. I do not like this guy's personality. He is so full of himself. Yeah, I was kind of getting that vibe just reading.
reading the description that his biggest fear is that his life will amount to nothing, I feel like he would never give me the attention that I crave, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> so you're a pass as well, too? I'm, I think I might have to. Also, what is he wearing? It's, Look at that hat. It's just it's setting on top of his head. He's not wearing it. It's, it's just it's sitting a, on top. It's, a, it's like those people that would take the trucker hats or like the big baseball caps and they wouldn't just press it, it down. They'd yeah. set it on their head. That's what he's doing. This, it's giving douchebag vibes. It's yeah. Ass. He's like the Shaolin douche. So yeah, he's a, he's a pass. <laughs> there we go. Pass. All right. Up next, we have the uh, sister to, Melina. we have the sister to Katana. This is Melina. Not only, she's not a tar cotton and human and like mixed in like a weird like flesh pits She's monster. She's an elf lady. She, yeah, she has a disease in this one. So like this is like, this is contagious apparently. So it's contagious. So the risk so is I could get it. So you could get monster mouth, lose your humanity and become a monster as a result of being with her. But hey, just she does look great. I'll say that. But I'm looking way too much into like is, the risks and is everything. Is it just the mouth on her head that I have to worry about? No, she has blades out of her arms too that you can see but you can't see him here but that she could has me yes oh i might have to pass yeah that's definitely a pass too because i would have been able to look past the mouth yeah but no in the heat of the moment you never know what could happen yeah no std preventions are gonna help you there so that's a that's definitely a pass right there sorry sorry all of you uh melina stands i'm sorry all right up next we have the chosen one the champion of earth realm in this timeline we have raiden originally a god now he's just a very humble guy i just love him in the story he was wonderful he's actually one of the guys I play as. He's cute. He's a very he's a very pretty guy. I, I like him. him. He looks genuine. Yeah, he doesn't look he looks genuine. He doesn't look like he's gonna like see you at the bar and like yeah. get you drink after drink. He's just gonna be a he polite would be guy. At home with like dinner ready on the table kind of guy. It'd be like, oh my lady just came home and he'd like give me a foot rub at the end of a long day. <laughs> I, I want to go beyond Smash. Like, is this? Can we do like a F Mary kill? Because definitely Mary. You know what I mean. So this is Ra So okay, Raiden <laughs> is husband material. Raiden's husband material. Got it. So uh, yeah, I gotta go Smash on that too. Uh, maybe husband material too. I would say. Just I think you just we can. You convinced me. With you, <laughs> you convinced me. Yes, Raiden first for polygamy. Let's go. <laughs> All right, and up, up next, we now have uh, Rain on here, the the mage of, the, the Mortal Kombat mage, not the person next to me. This I guy- I finally shout my name in bed, so that is a smash. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Usually with my history with this character, I know in the past he's been like devious, but he's actually not a bad character in this one. I do like the staff and I know that's with water, so that can make things very like exciting. I wanna know exciting. what you can do with that staff. A lot, so uh, because of the impossible, all the possibilities, I'm giving this a, I'm giving this a smash. I just wanna see what he can do with the staff. <laughs> I wanna know what he can do with the darkest and most powerful sorcery in the realms. All right, now up next we have uh, our third ninja, we have Smoke. I don't like smokers. I don't think he smokes. I think he just uses smoke bombs. I mean, will he do that like while we're, you know? May maybe he'll drop it and it'll appear on the other side, or maybe he'll. Oh, he could like s disappear and appear somewhere else. Yeah, that's his thing. Okay, that could be useful. In my case, I don't like it because it could be like, oh, I just got ghosted. So mm, oh. I got to go pass on that. Sorry. That's a little too risky for me. I feel like that says more about your insecurity. <laughs> it, literally, it literally says loyalty above his name. Uh, I'm giving oh, him I a didn't... chance. That is a smash for me. I think another reason you'd smash is this is also the same guy who voiced Spider-Man in Spider-Man PS4. Smash! There we go. Smash. Okay. I, you heard it here. All right. Up next, we have uh, Lee May. This is the uh, constable of Sundo. She's a like badass lady who fights and she has this weird like firework powers. She can summon lanterns that explode. She's also a baddie. She looks like an adult. I feel like I look in the mirror and despite my age, I look still like a child, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's so MILF and I don't, I don't think I can, I'm not young gravy, you know what I mean? I just yeah. don't think I could go for 
it. She also just looks kind of scary stern. It, it's intimidating in a way. I would be more afraid she would tell me to clean my room when I brought her to bed. Then yeah, she would be able she'd to be like, bring hey, pleasure. Yeah, here's, you didn't do your chores. Here's a load of like firework ass beating for you. Yeah, like if my kink was to be degraded, then I would definitely say <laughs> smash. <laughs> So you're a pass on this one? I think I'm gonna have to pass. Mm, yeah, I gotta pass on this one. I'm sorry, Lee Mei. Are you uh, sure? I'm positive, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Up next, we have another Tarkon. Pass. Okay, yeah, we can just pass quickly on this one. All right, now this is uh, Tanya. She's one of the uh, guardians of the royal family. And fun fact is Melina's partner in the story. So she's a, she's packaged. How does she not get infected? I think she, she was the one that was like trying to get treatment so she could like stay alive. Oh, so she's so very, Romantic. She's caring. That's really romantic. She is also a little intimidating, especially like in this picture we have up right now. She's like holding her staff behind her like she's about to beat me with it. It's a three section staff. It breaks apart into three right. long rods. Yeah, it's it's a little scary, but also it's kind of exhilarating. <laughs> If you want to know what she does, she like swings it up in the ceiling and she, she like swings from the chandelier. She can like swing around with it. Oh, that's hot. Smash. And they all have hands. So it's like. Smash. Smash. There we go. All like, yeah, she summons a bunch of like hands that like do stuff and. All right, now we've got uh, the Sentinel of the Hourglass, Geras, who um, he's a time construct, so he can't die, and he's stuck in a fixed point of time. So he can control oh. time, move things forward, move things back. He's a very tricky and cool guy. He's also huge. He's like 6'6", six, six, if I'm right. He's like a six, tall guy. Six. Smash, yeah. He also has a really nice voice, too. It's, um, it's just very like soothing and calm. He doesn't really raise his voice crazy. I would have him just talk to me, if that's the case, you know? like. That would get me. That would do the job. I would rather take this guy instead of like Joe Parra talks you to sleep. I'd have this guy talk me to sleep. This guy, is, he's, he seems nice and I like, the only things that look a little odd are like the weird like grids he has in him, but that's because yeah. he's a time construct. He was just made. I have this thing where when I see fun textures, I have to touch them. <laughs> like in an art museum, if there's a lumpy painting, I'm like, man, I really got to touch that. I feel like that would be fun for me. The ridges in the his ridges, body. I would just want to touch them. If if he's okay with that. The thing that would freak me out is the glowing eyes. Like if we had the lights off and I just see those lamplight eyes staring at me, freak me out a little. He can also like just appear out of nowhere from like sands of time. He'll just like teleport in randomly. Is so. it, do you think it would be coarse? Rough? He's he just teleports with sand. He like turns into sand. Yeah, it'd be coarse, rough, irritating, and it does get everywhere. So uh, <laughs> end of the day, that that's a risk I'm willing to take. I'm gonna. <laughs> At the end of the day, I'm going smash on this I'm gonna one. I'm going to smash. There we go. All right. Smash. We have, this is super easy. Smash. You can't see his face with the mask on, but this is the MK Pretty Boy Reptile. He's so good. He's um, so fine. <laughs> Now, I, the one thing I haven't heard anyone say from his reveal trailer, because everyone was like, oh my God, Reptile's hot. My thing was like, and now I'm curious, because like he was all like, I was a freak among my people I could transform. And I'm all like, so were you a freak in the sheets too? <laughs> That's all I wanted to know. That is something I'm willing to find out. Yeah, so I'm going to go smash on this one. He's he's a hottie. I love him. All right. Pass. Okay, yep, Havoc's, he's he's gross. Because my thing is, is like, his he uses his body as a weapon, so he like breaks his arm off and it'll grow back. Now I'm imagining what would happen with like below the belt. Like yeah. that just get, oh geez, like, oh God. If he weren't like a decaying zombie monster thing, I would maybe be a little bit more like intrigued by that ability. But then I also see his face and the mouth. There's no lips. Else. There's no lips. And if that is his only redeeming quality, I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, I'm passing. Sorry, Havoc. All right, up next we've got Ashra. She's a uh, redeemed demon which is why her eyes are all like that. But she's like very angelic. She's pretty nice. She's also, um, she's packaged with reptile in the story too. So, you know, she's, she has a heart somewhere to, you know, like brighten someone else's day. I wanna say Smash, like she's beautiful, but her face freaks me out just a little with the scarring and like the way her hairline is. <laughs> I'm not really sure what's going on there. Yeah. But 
don't know. Uh, I'm really torn on her. I'm very torn too. I mean, she's a hottie with a body. Maybe if I had a blindfold on, it would be fine. But I feel like she could give me the emotional security I need for it to be a fun time. Smash. Smash. <laughs> yep, you, you, you sold me there. <laughs> Up next, we have Queen Sindel, or as many people in the community call her, Mommy Sindel. And I can see why. Yep, as you can tell by her outfit, just a Bang great body. personality. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Uh, now, another thing that can make it more interesting is her hair has like a life of its own, which can grow crazy long and she can like wrap you, hold you. Who's that other woman who I said was scary and said pass on earlier? Lee, Lee May. May. Okay, yeah. So she like scares me in the same way Lee May does, but the hair part intrigues me enough that I want her to like tie me up and do whatever she wants. And so it kind of shadows over the every, every other quality. Everything else that scared me about Lee Mae that also scares me about Sindel, and I, I gotta say smash on this one. Yeah, I feel like I gotta follow the community down this one too. I gotta smash. She's she's always been a baddie, and I feel like yeah. if I don't smash, my mom's gonna be very disappointed because this is her favorite <laughs> character. All right, up next, speaking of Queen Sindel, we have General Shao. This guy, like, kind of, like, in the original timeline, I don't know if he's gonna do the same in this one. The original timeline, he, like, killed her and then, like, what? brought her back and then, like, brainwashed her and said, hey, you're my wife by the way. Pass. We yeah. do not support manipulation and gaslighting or murder. He's also just a, a general and he's like... In general? He's he, a douchebag. He's, he's like... Pass. He's so awful. He's like, I will do this for the army and he's trying to like find out ways to like take over her land. So he's like Bro so needs awful. to get a hobby. He should pick up knitting. Or basket weaving. Yeah, real hard pass there. Alright, up next we've got Megan Fox's Natara. She's... Not a vampire, she's a Fraternius, which they're vampires with wings. So she is a vampire. She's a race of vampire. Yes, that's just Mortal Kombat's way of saying these are vampires. Um, she gets a lot of hate. She's very, see, my thing is, is like, my brain was immediately about to say pass because I've watched Jennifer's body and I know how bad it is. But the problem is she's not a, she's not a succubus. So she doesn't need to eat me to like stay alive. She does have the sharp teeth though. She does have the sharp teeth. I know that's, so oh geez. I wouldn't want to do any tongue stuff, you know? It would just have to be lips. But Megan Fox though. But Megan like, Fox. She is, I think she's beautiful. I think if we just like set boundaries, then yeah, if we, like, we could avoid the whole like scary tooth thing. And I don't want to get hurt. I don't want to get bit where it hurts and I don't want to lose blood in the process. Maybe a little biting. Not aggressive. Uh, I'm gonna say smash, smash, honestly. There we go. Yeah, we can agree there, let's go. All right, up next we have the uh, sorcerer, the snake oil salesman. We have Shang Tsung himself. Yeah, this guy, I know he's just gonna like BS me the whole time, he like leading into cocky. it. He looks cocky. He is very like, he's a liar. I don't like him. Yeah, he looks a little full of himself. I'm gonna say pass. I mean, he looks nice, but I know who I he is. Too lazy for hard labor and too shifty for honest work. That already has disappointed he me. He sells. He he sells like fake magic and like like BS like like medicine to people to the point where like in the beginning of the game he was responsible for like he's like hey do you want my medicine and then he like gave it to some dad and then the dad's daughter just dies because he's like oh yeah I have something that will cure her for her disease. This is the dude that I do not want to like have a motel room with me a hotel room or absolutely not yeah or the, the alleyway no i pass sorry this you, you kind of suck shang pass yeah pass <laughs> i don't like rate i don't like you reiko sorry no. dude all right now we're moving into the bonus the dlc characters this is omni man we have he's like superman but not but he's like a dictator i'm passing is it the mustache? Yeah, I would feel like I'm making love to J. Jonah Jameson. And it's the same voice too. My thing is I've seen the mods online where I've seen his like butt and it's creased. It's very sculpted. He's also got very puffy arms and... Well, that part's kind of nice. Yeah, I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of the mustache either. Um, the mustache really throws me. And his hair, I don't... I can and get over face. it. I can get over it. I can... I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm smashing this one. He can smash me and I'll probably die more I think about it because he's just Superman. I mean, it, what a way to go out. What a way. I now know the way I want to die. <laughs> I'm still passing. <laughs> <laughs> Up next, we have the latest character that was added to the game, Quan Chi. He's a necromancer. He's... And a hard pass. Why does he look like that? <laughs> uh, some weird soul thing is what did that to his skin. So he's so his skin's all pale. He, he also looks like a lost member of Kiss. 
Kinda, he kinda does. He's just missing like the 80s like hair metal mm -hmm. uh, stuff. And he also like summons stuff from like it's, like this other dimension, like the, the nether realm. And it's usually like tentacles and it's like oh. weird spider arms. Oh, are you changing <laughs> your mind? Still a path. Okay. This guy's also a schemer too. I don't like him. He's similar, like similar to Shang Tsung. I'm gonna pass on this one too. All right, so now the third one we're looking at is the third Mortal Kombat representative in the DLC pack. Takahashi Takeda, who um this guy in the original timeline is... Is he a skeleton? No, that's just his mask. Oh. So to kind of fill you in real quick, he's, he's Kenshi's son. He also has telepathy. He was trained by Scorpion, so he's a ninja. And you can't see it too well. He has like metal whips that have like blades oh. on them. Oh, you can kind of get a little bit of a glimpse right here of what he can do. Okay. So yeah, he's like part of like the young crew of combat kids. He can teleport around. He has like a mech suit and all of that. Wait, how old is he? Uh, he's like in his early 20s, if I'm correct. Oh, okay. I'm gonna smash. Yeah, he's he's kind of a baddie. Oh, there he is without oh, his mask. He's there we go. Hot. Yep, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm smash. gonna go smash on this one. Takeda's a good looking guy, and I'm also just happy that he's coming back in MK1. So there you go. All right, the next character we have coming out in the game, and our second guest character is Peacemaker. Ew. Who's uh? Is that John Cena? That is John. C you can see him. Yes. What? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, remove the personality. I would say if I could remove the personality, easy smash. I think John Cena is like a really good looking guy. He's but never been an attractive man to me. Me knowing who Peacemaker is and everything he stands for, immediate pass. That's all I have to say. Sorry. Yes. Yep. No, no Peacemaker for me, dude. And now the final guest character on this list, we have Homelander from The Boys. Pass. Yep, I've watched the show quite an, uh, a bunch, and I will say right now, I do not like this guy. He scares me. He just looks like a horrible person. He looks like the kind of person who would throw his kids to the nanny and just completely ignore his wife and cheat on her. He did throw his kid off his roof of his house and killed the kid, I See? think. See? So, yeah, he gives that vibe. He don't care about no one. He's he also, not gonna care about me. Yeah, he only cares about one thing, and that's his image. Like, when he accidentally took or not accidentally, he took out an entire plane and let everyone die on a plane crash. Hard pass. He just blamed it on like everything and he made himself look good by like crying for the camera and like media training. I hope he suffers. Yeah, and if you know the comic lore, he actually can't have sex. So uh, I'm just gonna say pass immediately because- Major pass. Yeah, so uh, screw you Homelander. I can't wait to rip your head off in MK1. All right, now we're up next on to the uh, Cameo Fighters. Now these are just based off their classic designs. So I'm gonna try and do as best as I can of who they are, because these characters weren't reimagined or rebooted. So the first one we have is Cameo Sub-Zero. This is still the edgy head ripper one. And I'm still the always cold girlfriend, so I'm gonna have to pass, unfortunately. I do like his eyes on this one, and I do like- I think he's a beautiful man. He's a very beautiful man. But I would be too focused on how cold I am to actually enjoy anything. I'm smashing. <laughs> Up next, we have Shu Jinko. This guy um, is too old for me. Pass. Yeah, sorry. No. Nope. I'd love to have tea with you, Shu Jinko. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. How about how about instead of smash or pass, we just have tea. Yeah. The tea. Tea in the garden. Tea in the garden. There we go. All right. Now we've got classic Scorpion in here. He's the, not as cute. Scorpion that we looked at earlier. He's like the oh, I just know fire. Mm. This dude is actually like from hell. He is literally just rage incarnate anger oh. and like feel my wrath and like wants to kill everyone in sight pretty much mainly just like a couple people i might have to oh with specific people uh he he wants to kill sub-zero although a lot of guys like that end up being like total simps and so you know what i mean Oh yeah, he. Oh yeah, he's only. Maybe he'll say pass to you because he was only like. He, 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 how dare he, had, he? He had a wife. Pass to he me. He had a wife and a kid that he lost, and that's like the only people he has his mind on. So he'd probably say pass to you when I think about it. Oh my gosh, that makes me want to smash him more. Smash. I'm passing <laughs> harder. I don't want to get on this guy's bad side for anything. I'm. Well, you do you. Have fun with that one. All right. Up next we have Motaro, the sub boss for Mortal Kombat 3, and he's a centaur. He's. Pass. I don't like the nipples, so I gotta say pass. It's it's the nipples you can't get past. There's tiny. Not I don't the like... fact that he's a centaur. I could maybe get behind that. I don't know. 
backpack. And the horns. I don't like his face either. I, I also don't, don't like, like the horns. I also I'm don't the horns. <laughs> I also don't like that he has to make his own sounds at you. What? Like, he makes horse sounds. Like he goes like Ew. It just sounds grody, so Pass. I'm I'm passing I'm passing Motaro on the nipples and the horse sounds. Now we've got classic Kung Lao. Is he a snake oil salesman? No, that's Shang. Oh my bad. Oh, this is the preppy guy who only cares about power and like making something. He wants he wants to be like the chosen one, the dude with the razor hat. Well, this time he actually has a one. this one he actually has a metal one. He didn't make it out of knives this uh, time. Still pissed. Okay. Because this one can teleport and he has more powers. Uh, yeah, I'm still passing on this one. Sorry, dude. <laughs> that I, I was not going anywhere with that. All right, up next we have Cyrax. He is a robot. He's also the mustard cyber ninja. Uh, he has, just to kind of fill you in, he's the dude that has the power of bombs to use. They're like little like- Oh, he's the one who blows up the earth. He blows up the earth. He also has a weird like spinning, like a uh, saw blade come out of his chest. Oh, that's, oh. But he also has a green net that can hold people I'm gonna, I don't okay just because of his stupidity and blowing up the entire earth yeah. I have beef with this man so I'm gonna have to pass yeah and I would be so afraid our bodies pressed together and just getting <laughs> saw and blade to the chest I also think in the middle of the cyber cyberization he might just be a smooth Ken doll down there so uh, well, there's probably nothing there's other ways Although he doesn't I'm, have a mouth. He doesn't have a mouth. If you want to take off the thing, it's like, I've seen what they look like without the masks and it's terrifying because it's all really? like wires and... I would get electrocuted. Yeah, that's a bit of a hazard. So I'm also um. passing there. I'm, I'm passing. And up next we have Frost. This is uh, Sub-Zero's uh, protege, his um, apprentice that he was training. She looks very angry. She is always angry, yeah. Um, I think she's a cool character. I think she's No pun pretty. intended. Haha. -ha. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but I might have to pass because again, just Ice. very cold, yeah. Yeah. It's... I like the fiery character. Yeah, I gotta pass on this one too. I've, I've never really been the biggest fan of Frost. Although I like her as a cameo. Mm, mm, you're just my cameo, that's all I gotta say. All right, now we have the original champion of Mortal Kombat and then he got his ass beat by Liu Kang. This is Goro. <laughs> He's half man, half dragon, if I'm right. Half dragon. Yeah, and he has like, the Shokan race. So he has four arms. He's like, four, four arms. Hmm, In sure. the comics, he did he did successfully knock boots with Melina. So that's happens interesting i'm intrigued i like the four arms i'm not into super large buff scary looking yeah he look, he's like he's like <laughs> nine feet like nine feet tall or something like that That's, he's a pretty big imposing guy and he's I like i would be so afraid that he would tear my hoo-ha apart i he think he would also it. rip you apart too his in he, general he his finishers involve like splitting you apart with his hands yeah as intrigued as i am by the whole you know four arms things uh i'm gonna have to unfortunately pass I'm passing on one tiny detail. I hate his hair. I like how there's just the ponytail. The hair I can't get behind. Yeah, sorry, dude. The ponytail, I don't like it. Ooh, we have Jax this time. This is without- Smash. Yep, this is Jax without the cyber arms, so he still has his arms this I don't time. care what arms he got, he's a smash. Look at those lips. Look at the Steve Harvey mustache. He looks gorgeous. I want to lick those pecs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I gotta, I gotta smash on this one too. I love this guy. Jax is great. You're an amazing cameo, and you're an amazing grappler too. Oh, smash! All right, and up next we have uh, this, we have the special forces most wanted, Kano. Yeah, this dude's. I don't like him. I, I don't. I've always like. I've, this is the character I loved to hate next to Jarek in the MK series. So I gotta pass on this one too. He looks like a jerk. He he is a jerk. He looks it. Yeah. He's a smug mofo. Get the get the, the get the knives away from me, please. I don't like that at all. All right, up next we've got Darius. Um, That's a smash. He looks a lot like a a fusion dance between Wesley Snipes and Idris Elba. And because Idris Elba is my man crush in Hollywood, really I immediately. Oh, you didn't know? I thought I told you. No, I was agreeing. Oh, yes. yes. So he really is. You talk about him a lot. <laughs> Let that be noted. Um, <laughs> so I am gonna say that because of that logic alone I have there, even though he may be one of my least favorite characters in the series, he looks this a is a little cocky. 
This is a smash. He does have one of the stupidest finishers in the game where he just rips off your arm and just slaps your head off with it. That is mean. Yeah, it's like the ultimate stop hitting yourself. If you're gonna do it cool, do it like how Shiva did, which is cooler. But you may have a stupid finisher. You are a really good looking guy, so you're a I just think you're he'd be smash. good. I think he'd know what to do. He knows what to do because he wants order. Sure. There we go. All right, now on to another demon. This is Serena. I like her. I love the hair, honestly. Does she have horns? Uh, are they horns or they're is that kind her of horns. Yeah, they are horns. She has little horns on the top of her uh, head. I like okay. how she also has like the shibari outfit <laughs> going on. She's <laughs> tied up in what is that cloth? Yeah, and the tattoos look cool too. That's that's she, gonna be a smash. She even me. has them around her waistline. Yeah, that they knew what they were doing when they designed her. She's a smash. Yeah, she's yeah she's pretty in that very demonic way. So. Yep, I'm gonna have to smash on that one too. All right, then we got Sector. Another Ken doll, so I'm gonna have to pass. <laughs> he does have flamethrowers though, so he does make things so warm. Do I want him to torch me to death? And I don't he know. has I'm not missiles. To be that warm. He no. also has a. He has another thing that comes out of his chest. It's not a buzzsaw. It's um, a compactor where he flattens you with it. Unless I can attach a dog oh! to it instead, I want <laughs> nothing to do with him. He is a pass. Uh, the compactor wasn't meant to like you know persuade you at all. That was you know, meant to like I scare like you. I like a weighted blanket, but <laughs> that's killing you. That's like several thousand pounds per square inch. I'm also passing on this one sector, even though you're my favorite color. That's not enough. All right, we've got the first female in the series. We've got Sonia Blade here. Um, she's pretty. She has nice features. Yeah, she is. She. I always found her to be pretty. Sure, her specialty is like using her legs as like a gram. Yeah, I feel like she would crush my skull between her thighs. She also can split people in half doing that. She'll like grab and then split them in half. Kind of hot. I'd let her do that to me. Yeah. I'm going to smash. Uh, it's worth the risk. Yeah, it, it's... I feel like if I got out alive, that would be a story to that'd tell. That'd be the story to tell. Have a tell all there. There you go. Yeah. Um, now I got to I gotta smash on that one too. So there we go. <laughs> okay, similar to Peacemaker and I'm sorry, um, Nicola, yes. Nicholas Gear. I'm so sorry. I know you're a huge fan of Striker. I got to pass. I do not like this guy at all. <laughs> all right, now we've got yes. Tremor, the first. What is that? He's a he's a man is of he rock. A tree? That's he, rock. He's a rock man. Mm. He literally like summons rocks out of the ground. He can turn into like either hot lava, or you can turn that, into like crystals. That is not comfortable. Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to pass on this one. Tremor, I don't... Even the stalactites and stalagmites wouldn't make it more pleasing. It would make it more uncomfortable. You would never go back to your normal size after that, you know what I mean? Yeah, I gotta pass on that one. This is Chameleon. Uh, She's pretty. So why she looks gray like that is because her outfit changes depending on what strike she does. Interesting. Hence the name Chameleon. She... So she would like be a fun little RGB disco ball in the room? Yes. Depending on what she's doing? And she has the style she knows how to act like Katana, Melina, and another uh, Lady Ninja, Jade. Oh, Smash. Yeah. She would be the best of all the world. I'd say Smash on this one. Chameleon, there we go. I know her eyes look a little dead and ghost-like, but... The colors she would bring would make she up switches. for it. Yeah, there we go. I'd say that. There we go. Chameleon, you're a, uh, you're a Smash. All right, now we have our other cameo that isn't out yet. The Red Dragon Mavado. He's He has like these hook swords that I know of. He's kind of like Cabal, but he doesn't have the speed or he's not burned horribly like him. So he's rivaled to Kano. He also has inf probably one of the goofiest finishers ever where he like puts like hooks in the ground and he like steps back and he flies at the opponent like it's like a <laughs> Looney Tunes cartoon. That's silly. But I do love his jacket though. That is such an edgy jacket. I feel like I'm, I'm a little torn because I don't typically like dudes who look like they're on steroids, but he's ki he kind of cute. So I might have to go smash. I got to pass on him. I'm sorry. Oh, he's got a moose knuckle in this one. Yeah, I'm gonna smash. Yeah, I, I'm a pass on this one. Sorry, Movado fans. All right, now this one's kind of a bonus because it's either Johnny Cage or Janet Cage cameo, but this is how he looked in the original. I'm um, gonna have to still pass. Yeah, because he's still kind of insufferable in the original series. Like, he's so annoying in the very beginning. And since this is, like, classic classic where he's not developed fully, where he's, like, redeemed, I'd I'd still... Actually, no, this is... I'm forgetting the actor's name already, and he's a, he's a nice guy. Guys, so I gotta smash this off that alone. Pass. Sorry. And then bonus, because we don't know if it's gonna be Johnny Cage or Janet Cage, here's also the Janet Cage design, which is just Johnny Cage, but a girl in another timeline. She's cute. Uh, no. She looks uh, like a sporty influencer. Well, I don't know. I feel like 
So you know how Johnny Cage, I don't know if you've seen it, he has Johnny mm -hmm. written on his chest tattooed. On her, she has uh, Janet. Janet right about, right, right below her belly button or on her back. I'm passing. She would really care more about herself being fulfilled than she would care about me getting the pleasure that I deserve. And there's another full picture if you want to see her again. No, she's scary. Pass. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta pass on that one too. I'm sorry. All right, and that was our Smasher Pass list we have right there. That was a fun one to do. And what'd you think of it? I had a lot of fun. That was great. All right. Now I know that fighting games have a lot of fun characters and a lot of great designs, some of which are very pretty, some of which are very scary. Ugh, scary. I'd definitely like to look at more character rosters with you and we can come up with that soon and find out what yeah. to do. Yeah. Now, uh, thank you all for tuning into this video. This thank is definitely you. something that we had talked about doing for quite some time. And it was my idea. <laughs> He didn't force me on here. Just saying. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Um, I know I had a few commenters saying that. I'm, this year, I'm trying to diversify content a bit of not only just rankings, but other fun stuff. So maybe stuff like this, maybe more costume stuff, or even more stuff with uh, Rain here, my partner here with us. That would make this more fun. Thank you for joining me today, by the way. It was fun having you on. Thank you for having me. Um, Honored to be here. I'm happy you're here too. Please don't forget to drop a like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And let us or know. Else. Or else please Just um and <laughs> let us like know that. if there's like any other rosters you'd like to look through and kind of get our fun little opinions on and stay tuned uh, for more fun rankings coming up soon there's more costume rankings finisher rankings super rankings coming so uh stay tuned for that as always thank you so much for tuning into this video my name's nick and my name's rain and, and have, have a, a wonderful, wonderful rest, rest of your day, day. Fight.